got three divisions here. Let's see, if we try to attack that one. Where's it gonna be? Easy by the looks of it. Let me start moving through right at the front there. And then this one was also from here, so you can start moving like Romney. Well, it looks like the now westernmost pocket is going to be closed very soon because they are completely out of organization there. Nice. Why do I have ten? Uh, what 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 were, what plan with Argentina? Because I have ten spies in there. Argentina? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Maybe he was trying to do all the use new trade to get them into the access. Yes. Mm, possibly. Yeah, we need a place to hide after the war. <laughs> <laughs> we'll win the war. Twenty-seven of my troops died, and I killed uh, ha half of them, like five thousand, and I killed two thousand five hundred of them. Okay, well, I'd say that's a decent trade. Yep. Nice. Now that one. Can we start attacking this one already? Should be able to hold. These are holding fine. We might want to actually house that there. Holding. Going fine. We're taking a bit of bombardment there, but like we're doing alright. Well, that pocket is about to be destroyed. Excellent. Oh no, we lost Novgorod. Or the battle for Novgorod anyway. It was a try. We didn't die many people. Okay, well I do say that we are at least doing a pretty good job of uh, destroying the pockets in the center now. For me, it's gets gets. It's not worse, but it's not good as well. It's a pullback. But at least now the new units are already getting done and. This one probably can be sent over there already. Ah, oh, the rest of this core. In the center here, okay, so you can stay there for the time being. Go, 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 bastards! Point two organization. Oh, one. Oh. So you can keep it. Okay. That one is yours. This two. We're still pushing in there, slowly but surely. Was it? Oh! Uh, these three units, I'm going to redeploy them to cover this because they are yours. Okay. Um, when we close this pocket, I will finish building my units. 
next troops of my uh, will be done in November, next time. Ah, well, that's gonna be a little while. Yep. At least from that um, stack, that 10 stack, but there's another 5 stack that will be between October and end of November, but that depends on how much money production I have. I'm now using 84 IC to upgrades and 60 for reinforcements and 75 for uh, supplies. Only 60 for the reinforcements? We are using 150. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we are doing a lot of the fighting. <laughs> You're True. attacking, I'm just defending. <laughs> yeah. I'm, the... I'm attacking as well, but not. Not in the south, because I can't. Um, the point from Kaluga to Rivets is like a, a death trap <laughs> in between those two Rivets to watch the, the poor units. Yeah. It's, it's like half, of, well, more than half of the units are like either tanks, motorized, guards units. This one is certainly not moving forward. Got a unit of it in here. But at least uh, the uh, Romanian border is uh, expanding. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay, so we can get the better submarine class. Excellent. Oh, Zaisk. All right, it's that one. This part unit of tanks, only 3,500 men left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they wreck it to the ground. <laughs> but the reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> and more are coming. Right, it is two, we close another clock here. <laughs> and this one's yours. Uh, the Soviets from the one pocket are still moving into Cheshiresk, so we'll need to have someone standing there. Uh, okay, uh, one. I mean, there's someone already redeploying re through there, so that should be fine. Fine. Just do that. Oh, big massive casualties here. One more almost died. Oh no. Yeah. And stop the attack on Haruko. There was just so much bombardment going on. Communication advanced. Always nice. Indeed. Five days we're gonna get to factories. And we'll be getting a lot of uh, roads. Ro <laughs> and we have a pass for a bit so I can deploy my units. Cool. I love the supply production a little bit again, down back down to 120. Okay. Will the units that are be there from Free Friends uh, will they will they be able, will they be able to? Uh, um, are they getting um, upgrades? No, will they stay there or will they just? Uh, the French tanks, I think those should stay. Or are you talking about something else? Uh, no, the, the, the tanks in, in uh, Serbia. Serbia. 
the, the troops in Serbia from uh, Vichy France now? Will they get? Um, will they move to? Uh, will they stay in there and uh, just get to uh, free France? So will they attack immediately? Oh, right, the troops in Syria. I do not know. Okay. okay that will be uh, a nice surprise then. Uh, I'm done with uh, the thing, so we can. Okay. Uh, Is this very bad? Okay, got that one. That's very small. Wait, it takes like two weeks to get a level. Or I have at this point, so we're going to upgrade these quite a bit. Mestia. Uh oh, Mestia. Is that yeah that was that oh wow that one pull back we still keep on attacking for the time being but we're defending over there right do I have troops not the Romanians, but those are probably not the best units to send into that particular combat. Now then, we're getting some roads soon. These are construction practical. Okay, ten. That's not too bad. Check there. Thank you, OZB, for the help. Attacking the province near Haraco because I realize that there's a lot of troops moving through there, but the unit from Haraco is actually moving away, so once that's away, I can send in a tank to take the city. Yeah, I try to remember to always have the units bordering you and me in Russia to have them on support attack. That's good. Same goes with the Italians around Rostov. Well, I got the move. These two to pull tower. I was gonna have to take a bit of a rest. A bit of troops here. I'm gonna probably stay there, okay. How could you read so fast? <laughs> well, time to retake a look. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to pull back from this uh, particular sailor in Sevsk as well. No, Maybe no. not yet necessarily, but we don't have that much time before we are forced to uh, retreat from there. at least repairing the planes. That one's still intercepting the transport. I see other pockets are in the middle are closed. Yep. I'm going to move the troops that are behind the lines of the pockets back to the front. Okay. As we have joined the front with more virus. The middle is like our troops because <laughs> they are too much entangled with each other. Ah, oh, truth. That sounds like awfully communistic about or oh, of you. <laughs> no, 
let's see if we can push past the river of Oredo and try to surround Moscow from that side. Because from the front is <laughs> really painful. I don't think I would be able to. Ah, uh, yeah. Completely. So that's what taking a lot of casualties. Wonder, do we have anything that can push through here right now? Tank around there. In here. Oh, we're well, gonna be attacked over here. Oh, damn it, they got a unit into Hargo. Mm. Welcome to my Kalu experience. <laughs> <laughs> Because now I'm back at Kaluga. <laughs> like, I, oh man, I was probably like two hours away from taking the city. And I have Kaluga back. <laughs> it's like a game of tag. It's mine now, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm also the strength from the north to Bryansk. And maybe if I go to Kolesk and South Italy, maybe we can do another pocket. In between, like south of Kaluga to Orel, if we can close in between those two, like the left, mm. we could trap some. Yeah, we'll see if we can actually get in there. There's quite a bit of enemy troops in front of Orel right now. Plus, they have a massive amount of air power in here. We don't have the reach to fight them right now. No oh, there goes Sevsk. Wow. I hate when it's like, oh, this battle is going fine. They're losing like 10 or 15, and then it's like, oh, this week they're losing 1,000. What happened here? Yeah, it's a bit annoying. <laughs> Okay, so they're attacking from Chromi? Chromi? Not from there, I don't think. No, it's just those two provinces. That's gonna be annoying. 800 against 9600. Nice. Oh man, we need almost 400 manpower to reinforce all our troops right now. Well, yeah, you can send Leningrad for that problem. Well, partially. I mean, and they advance to Moscow. That's also draining. The rest is, is going fine. I mean, we have another 600 to burn before it's a problem. Yeah, true. And we are gaining uh, 83 per month. Only five months. <laughs> All my borders in the south are getting like hammered. With all the tanks there. I can imagine. There's a little bit there. Is this holding? Here's to be holding. One division attacking there. Oh, because that. Right. Push back. Yes, we have more width than the enemy in Leningrad. What's that? Oh, what? How could they instantly die? They just went this day. Oh. What happened to those two? I don't know. It's like I send the this thing. <laughs> I mean, there is a lot of enemy subs in there.
Are we actually pushing in there? No, technically. I did get yes, some... Yes, we less lemon breath. Now there is only 15. <laughs> Huzzah! Yeah, luckily there are quite a few Finnish divisions attacking Leningrad right now. Yeah, that helps a lot to not lose that many troops. Yeah, the frigates are in a combat, by the way, again. Oh, yeah. Uh, retreat, that's too many. I'm gonna lose one. No. Retreat. Probably two, one actually. Down. Yeah. I mean, they are killing a good amount of them. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly a decent trait, I would say, but I just wanted to make sure that you notice yeah, it. Down, yeah. uh, trade. I don't want to lose all of them. <laughs> yeah, they're attacking with two divisions. Over, but we didn't throw our report. We lost two, but I think we killed five or six subs. We kill at least some, that's for sure. Out of time? Well, I'll bring it plus advance. Yeah. Right when we do it, so. <laughs> oh, and we have more, let's see. How many more figures are we in the queue? Another four. Maybe we could queue. I'll put in another 4 plus 2 uh, floor, uh, uh, so 8 total, but in groups of 4. in here. I can that one do I have another unit in here? I can send in another Romanian troop there. Quite a bit of troops here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to push them through this gap mostly. Alright these interceptors should probably head down this oh they can't actually reach that far. Any place that we could reach from goes from here. So from there, oh yeah, we got a much, much better range now. That one needs to pull back. Is that battle going anywhere? Not really. I oh know we got some reinforcements that we're sending. Waiting. Okay, they are in the combat now, so that one can retreat. And in the Romanian division there. We'll give a bit of support attack here. Still gonna require a bit of rest. 